Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, uh, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So um, if you click on the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camp. Okay. As I always say, you know, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And uh, if this isn't your story, could I pick up on your story? Stick around as sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to just support you and to move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. So Gemini, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. And of course, as I always say, you know, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our reality. All right. So just touching on the past all right yeah there is emotional fulfillment there is emotional fulfillment here um again this is the past but i feel like it's it's kind of it runs throughout where it is at the moment it's still current let's say that so there's definitely emotional connection here but there is this awareness or wake up call or epiphany um or realization let's say that realization that you had about where this connection is and what's needed to get it to a certain place and he was willing to put in the work as well with the seven, knowing that, you know, you know, there's going to be work to put in. And this could also be due to your finances. So it might have a financial element to this work that's being put in. But definitely an acknowledgement on your end, Gemini, that, okay, you know, there's going to be work or work's needed to be put into this. But there's hope. There's hope on your side. Let me take these up and put these here for your person. You know, they're content or they was content. Again, we're talking about the past. Let me put this over here. So it was definitely content in terms of just where things are, where things were. Seeing things turn around as well. Feeling like things were turning around in their favor. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like there's much to say about the past. Apart from you both were, you know, emotionally fulfilled by this and you're both kind of in a good place when it comes to this. Yes, you felt like there was work that was needed, but you were more than willing to put that in. Which brings us to where we are at the moment, which represents the king. I feel like this is affecting you a lot more than it's affecting them, this king. Um, just in terms of, mm, and that's for some of you, let's say that, that's, that's for some of you. But it's definitely in a place where it's a lot better. It's like you're both getting in some aspect or in some way, shape or form what you both want out of this relationship or you're happy with how things are things are coming on coming in for you guys so for example if there was challenges in terms of just maybe you guys getting together in some way shape or form whether that's moving in together solidifying your relationship or whatever the case may be that's now come in it's like a k um a harvest has come in and that's making you emotionally happy you're, you're feeling good about that emotionally feeling good about that you know which is kind of causing you to think about just where you're both going to go next whether that's you know to expand the family start a family get married move in together finally maybe you know it's it's about the, the empress talks about birthing of something the birthing of something um but your challenge is is slowing this down we've got the night is slowing this down 
And I'm going to explain to you a reason why, because there's something that's going on with your person. There, as much as things are coming in for you guys, in terms of what I've already explained, they're focusing, their focus is very much on things that are not working out. There's certain things that are happening for them that's not going right. That's not going according to plan or just not working out well. And I feel like it's to do with, it's, it's like it's changed dramatically for them we've got the death card there something's kind of ended or something's changed um for them and i feel like it's to do with their financial situation because in the past it was very much okay financially yeah but it seems like something's changed you're not aware of it though you're not aware about it I don't feel like this person has communicated that to you and if they have they haven't communicated the extent because we've got the ten of pentacles that's their challenge being able to maybe provide financially, maybe that's put a, especially if you're ready to start a family, if you're spoken about starting a family, they've got the Empress card as well in terms of what they're wanting. I feel very much strongly this has to do with their finances. It doesn't have to be though, but something's changed big that's had an impact on them, which ultimately has an impact on this relationship in some Yeah, we've got the Four of Cups again. Causing a burden. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, 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 it's causing a burden, you know, when it comes to the relationship coming together, collaborating. We've got the Three of Pentacles in some way. So Three of Pentacles talks about collaboration, teamwork coming together. And that's why your challenge is that slowing down because it seems like you're ready. It's like, I'm ready to do this. You know, you're very much focused on that. You're ready to do this, not aware of where they're at. And again, you know, it's simply because not to say that you don't want to be aware or that you've missed or looked over something. It's because this person has not expressed that to you. You're not wanting this to end. And if they have, it's not the extent at which it's having an impact on them. And um, you're not wanting this connection to end. There's a strong attraction there. You want things to turn around. But I feel like it's to do with you recognizing or picking up in some way that this is not moving ahead as quickly as you would like it to. As I say, moving ahead as quickly as you'd like it to. And got the action. New route, um, new path. Beautiful card. Look at the depiction on that card. Guys, hopefully you guys can see that. So, of course, they're wanting, you know, a change. Them to change in order for them to embrace this empress, the birthing of something. So the question is, does it change? If this things change, is this person able to open up to you and tell them what's really going on? And if not, where does that lead you both? So let's continue this in part two of the reading. It should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So uh, click on that. Uh, let me just... Before we move over to that, it means that's why it's a pull down. Yeah, this person is worried about this change. They might take a risk on something as well. There might be a risk taken on something, but um, we'll see. So it should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that. Other than that, um, I shall see you guys in a bit. <laughs> 